the thing is is I've watched a lot of interviews about 6 9 a couple American podcasts and breakfast clubs Shut my door. and closing the curtain yeah go uh, not breakfast clubs um, breakfast interviews a couple UK podcasts shout out free shots shout out um, half cast podcast um, and all of that information blended in with my opinion because I don't want to the people are probably sick of seeing 6 9 so I just kind of kind of want to keep it short and brief as, as I can mm. in conclusion in my opinion from everything I've seen and my personal beliefs mm. at first when he went into pen I can't lie to you there was a little part of me hoping I hope he comes out you know because he's got a little girl he's got two kids from my knowledge How was it? and like you know he's, he's, a, he's a youth he's our age man he's 23, 24 mm. but then when I heard everything he'd done his whole persona the way he was acting you know uh, Trey Way, you know what's good blood and all that stuff. Paying, paying the, the nine Trey Bloods to be his uh, his gangster friends yeah. to protect him to beef him. I just found out he, he, he put um he put a price on Chief Keef's head, mm. bro. He was he was, he fully intended to take Chief Keef's life. Mm. And he put money on his head. Okay, but bro, I've from what I've seen, sorry, sorry, sorry from what I just watched a, a video recently, and it said how six why six nine is a genius, and correct me if I'm wrong. Because I don't know, the, I don't, you're, you're more into the music team <laughs> more than I am in the whole music scene. So basically, this guy was a normal kid who wasn't into any of this. Yeah, wasn't into the, the, the bloods and the crips and all this and you know, the gang life. And he fought a way to capitalize on and, and get into like fame and music and all this because he wanted to do the music team was to hire or like kind of be affiliated with certain groups and certain members. So he kind of went to them and said, listen, be part of this whole mm-hmm. thing. Let me he be part them, of this. He paid them, bro. Thing. He admitted it. So he paid. He so, paid them, yeah. So he hired a gang to be a part of and like all these music videos and all this mm. but he wasn't really part of it nah he wasn't he wasn't a part of it that they were a part of it and he managed to convince the world that he was I guess so because when it was happening everyone thought he was part of Treyway Treyway all this all that and he had beefs mm. and I dare you to come touch me I dare you to mm. come to test me my York. gangster yeah, test, test my, my gangster. gangster if I'm really about it don't you think someone would have done something by now? I was watching the Breakfast Club today. Yeah, I was like, bro, yeah, like, this yeah. guy is... He was he, talking a lot. He was he's talking a lot. probably on it. Like, he got, he's asking for someone to kill him. He's literally... Uh, he's praying for... Like, he's saying, please, come test, test me, me. Come test me. And, he's, and he was And then Charlemagne it. said, you're going to end up in one or two ways, either in jail or in pen. Uh, yeah. Sorry, and either in jail or dead. dead. Yeah. And then I was watching another Charlemagne interview about it last night. He goes, he's done the first one. <laughs> yeah. Second one, he, he goes, Charlemagne was so vexed, bro. You know Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah, For those of you that don't know, there's a very, very famous interviewer. Yeah. Just a host in general. His name's Charlemagne the God. Yeah, um, obviously, it's, it's, it's not his real name. Yeah. He's a, I personally look up to him when it comes to he's the, sick. come to presenting. Like I, I want to be. The, he can cross the barrier. I want times, to be. He, he's, he's interviewed Kanye. Like he's yeah, he's, yeah. he's one of the sickest <laughs> interviews. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your album was trash. I only like one song. Thank you. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, what did you say? Um, so, anyways, back to what I was saying about six nine. I yeah. just feel I feel like the term snitch has been. But bro, don't you think that's crazy that he's done it's that? It's been it's been like. It's been used so much. So, what did you say? Don't you think it's crazy? I still, I still can't wrap my head around that. That he. But, but hear me, hear me, hear me. Let, let me, let me finish. As they say on Back Chat London, let me land, let me land. Have bro, that's that? crazy, man. He literally sold himself. He sold his soul. He's, he's. I don't know about sold his soul, but, nah, but, he did, but bro, hear me, on. hear me. Yeah. You're gone. He was never part of that life. Yeah. For example, and I was saying to this to you before we started recording today, you and I were regular average Joes. We work nine to fives. Mm. You and I are civilians. Mm. If, as we're filming right now, someone came over the fence, God forbid, started doing a mad thing, we would call the police mm. because we're not gangsters. Mm. We're not affiliated with gangsters. I know you're from the ends. No, I'm joking. But obviously, we're not about that life. Mm. Therefore, if the police said, hey, dog, give a statement. Hussein, give a statement. Auntie, uncle, give a statement. Mm. Whoever is around, give a statement. That doesn't make us snitches. Because Wait, over something that's... No, just in general, bro. Okay, yeah. Just in general, because we're not part of that life. What, what I'm trying to say is, he is wrong for what he done because yeah. he he twisted it on people, certain people that never done him wrong, mm. certain people that were always cool uh, and never had issues with him. But the fact of the matter is, G, is the people should have known better. If you're rolling with someone that says the following statement every opportunity he gets, you ready? I'm just a kid with rainbow hair. Mm. If that is his justification for every wrongdoing he does, mm. you as mature gangsters and those individuals who claim to be a part of that life, if I'm in your if, if I'm paying you to be affiliated with your crew and every time I take L's or I look stupid, I just say, What? 
You're letting a kid with rainbow hair get under your yeah. and under your um, he puts it back on you. under your hair, mm. under, your under your skin. Sorry, sorry, Ramadan's getting to me. Under your skin. What does that tell you about the person? Mm. He's parring himself. I'm just a kid with rainbow hair. Mm. What did you expect? Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? So the whole thing's an L. He's an L. Mm. But the reality is, is the people he was rolling with, one of the OG olders of the crew, of the gang, whatever. He said. <laughs> one of the OGs of that gang, whoever the head guy was or girl, girl is or whatever, he or she should have known better. You get me? Yeah, but, okay. that's, that, that's, that's just my... Okay, but I, I don't got, really got, have anything more to say about that. I've got two things to say, yeah? One... What is a snitch? Because I, because okay, so some people will say that snitching is if you, you, if you yourself have been involved in the crime. Whereas other people will say no. Let's say a crime happens to you, like someone has broken into your house and robbed something. If you go to the police, that's snitching. Is that really snitching? Someone broke into my house. Yeah. No, of course not. That's not snitching. That's not snitching. But some people say as long as you talk to the police, that's snitching in general. Okay, that's what we call um, it's, it's a common disease. Oh, fell off. Com no, no, common disease called um, being a waste man. Oh, okay, safe. Or some extreme cases, being a dickhead. Oh, okay. But it depends, you know. No, because some people actually think if you talk to the feds in general, if yeah. someone has killed off your mum or something, if you're you governed by ends general, and you need to read a book, then yeah, then you, then you're a snitch. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that's out of the way. Weirdos. Now that the whole 6 9 situation happened, yeah? If you're involved yourself in something and you've done wrong yourself and you snitch, you're a, and you talk to the police, you're a snitch. Mm. If you've got no involvement in that at all, you're a civilian, you're a bystander, yeah? Like me, for example. I'm not involved in nothing, mm. yeah? Anymore. <laughs> nah, I'm not involved in anything, yeah? Pre-electric chair days. Yeah, you know them ones. If I, if I talk to the police, I probably wouldn't, but if I did, I should never be labeled, labeled a snitch, because I'm not mm. involved, I'm not, mm. I'm not in, mm. I'm not, do you get, I've got no loyalties to anyone, but I'm not, I'm not snitching on someone to save my ass, because I haven't done anything wrong myself. that's what he's done though. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to say about six, uh, six nine, <laughs> snitch nine, <laughs> snitch nine. So I'm trying to say about six, six nine. Yeah. You cannot. I don't care if, on the deeper level, he's not about this life and this and that. He portrays it. He that's he wears that on his chest. He says, "I'm about it. Come test my gangster. Come test this. Come test this." He so he's it. screaming. He it. He's, it. he's putting it out into the world that I'm a G. I'm a gangster. I'm this. I'm a real one. Blah blah. blah. I got an army behind me. If you snitch, you're a waste man. So I don't, I don't think it's justifiable that he snitched. But the thing is, is his justification is the following. Would you stay loyal to people that were trying to um, have sex with your baby mama? Would you... So why do you affiliate with them? Would you not snitch on people who tried to steal millions from you? Cool. Would you not snitch on people who got you beat up and recorded it? Would you not snitch on people who tried to get you and your mum kidnapped? But why did would you, you not snitch on blah, 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 blah? Why did you go would to you them? Would you be loyal to them sort of people? Why did you go to them and tell them to change my life? That's what I'm saying. That's why I personally believe the whole thing is shambolic and... Personally, both parties take L's. Yeah, but he can't but save he, himself and say in that. In my opinion, he he's taken the bigger L.